In this multiple choice question, we have a graph of f of x. It's shown below. It has a domain where x is greater than or equal to negative 4. So it's negative 4 and everything greater than that. Now I'm going to create a new graph, f of negative x plus 4, and I want to know what the new domain is going to be. So let's first of all look at the function. Whenever we have a function, we always want to make sure y is isolated and b is factored. So I see that y is isolated, but b is not factored. So that's the first thing I'm going to do. If I don't isolate y or factor b, my translations will be incorrect. So it's super important that we do this. So taking out a negative 1, I have negative x divided by negative 1 is x. 4 divided by negative 1 is negative 4. So this is the function that I'm talking about. So this negative 1 tells me that I have a horizontal reflection in the y-axis. x minus 4, remember horizontal lies, tells me that I'm moving my graph 4 units to the right. So I can do this algebraically with my domain, or I can do it graphically. If I wanted to do it algebraically, I know that my original domain is x greater than or equal to negative 4. So I would do my horizontal reflection first, so instead of the graph being greater than, when I reflect it, it would be less than. Instead of being at negative 4, when I reflect it, it comes to positive 4. So I have x less than or equal to 4. That's my horizontal reflection. Now I'm going to pick the entire graph up and move it 4 units to the right. So it stays as less than or equal to, but I take 4 plus 4 and it is 8. So x less than or equal to 8, which would make a my answer. Let's look at how I could do that graphically. So graphically, I would look first of all and identifying some of the key points on my original graph, my endpoints and any bends or curves. Then I would go through and do my reflection. So see how this x value is at 12? When I reflect it, it should be at negative 12. This x value at negative 2, when I reflect it, should be at positive 2. So I reflect my points and connect the dots. And then I need to pick up my whole graph and move it 4 units to the right. 1, 2, 3, and 4. So you can see that x less than or equal to 8 is also the correct domain.